Hi everyone, my name is Andra Christie and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect in the Public Sector at AWS. In this video series, we will take you through the compression and conversion of large 3D models, which come in different formats, so you can use them to build digital twins with AWS IoT Twin Maker. Many customers have existing large 3D models in varying formats, OBJ, DWG, CAD, BIM, and lots more and they need to know the different methods to both compress and convert the files to the AWS IoT TwinMaker accepted format of GLTF or the binary format GLB. The tools that we will show you in this series are either online processing tools or free tools that you can use and download on your own workstations. It's always recommended that you do your own testing as obviously results may vary. Sometimes, when you use a certain tool to convert from a certain format into the supported GLB GLTF format, you may end up with a larger file than you started off with, and then you will have a two-step process on your hands where you might use one tool to convert the file format and another tool to compress it. We will take you through both scenarios, and hopefully you will gain enough experience to be able to easily convert and compress your own 3D models. The models we will be using in the series will mostly be from the Cookie Factory demo, although not exclusively, which is available to build from a public GitHub repo and also available as a continuous demo on Grafana Play. We will include both relevant links within the video. So let's get started with our first model and conversion tool. The first tool that we're going to use is called CAD Assistant and I've got it installed on my workstation. So I've got an assembly line SDL file, which if we look at the properties is 259 meg. So I'm going to open it up using CAD Assistant and then I'm going to convert it to GLB GLTF. So here it is. This shouldn't take very long to load, but if you are working with a larger file, you can also watch its progress as you're loading it. So I've got a number of different options within this tool. Feel free to play around with it at your leisure. For today's session, I'm obviously going to focus solely on the conversion piece. So in order to save this as a different file type, I can change the name right here. And I actually have a number of different options. So OBJ, GLTF, GLB, obviously the ones that we're interested in are GLTF, GLB. And I would also recommend making sure that you've got the export options set properly. And um, actually, if I select GLB in here, and then I go into the transformation format, make sure it's set to compact, and also that export UV for elements without texture maps is set on. And then all I need to do is basically save the file. Now, as you can see, I've already saved it, so I'm not going to overwrite it. In this case, the original file was 259 meg, and my GLB file is 179 meg, so it's actually a smaller file that we've got to work with now. I'm going to open the GLB file now, and it looks pretty good, but now what I'm worried about is the file is still too large. So I'm going to now introduce you to a second tool which will allow us to basically reduce the size of the file. The tool that we're going to use is called Rapid, Rapid Compact Cloud. And the really great thing about Rapid Compact Cloud is you will probably have between five to ten models that you can upload and process for free, which is awesome because depending on the model size, 
For example, if you're working with models that are within the 50 to 100 megabyte range, you could potentially convert up to, you know, over 10 models for free. So the process here is you upload the models and in this case we select the file and this is the assembly line GLB. I've already loaded it so I'm not going to load it again and then it ends up in the source models section and here it is. You can see the file size it's 179 megabytes. It's a high poly model, it goes into all of the relevant details regarding the file. Now what I want to do is select the optimization settings. Generally if you want to play around with it you can just leave the default settings and in this case I've actually set it to high optimization which means that I might end up with a model that's going to be low poly once we've saved it. So once I click optimize selected models it starts optimizing it and I've already processed this one and it's taken me about three minutes to go through the process and what we end up with is an optimized model that's now shrunk to 24 megabytes which is great and then all we need to do is download the model and import it into AWS IoT TwinMaker which exact, is exactly what I'm going to do. So in AWS IoT TwinMaker, I've got a number of workspaces. I'm going to select the cookie factory and within the workspace, I'm going to go to the resource library where I can upload the various resources, which are the GLB or GLTF files. So all I need to do is click on add resources and choose the particular file. In this case, I've again already added it, but the process would be you just select the file, open and add resource. That's it. It won't take very long to load. And then you can go to your scene. If you have an existing scene, you go straight to the scene and add the model. If you don't, you can click on create scene and create a brand new scene. So we're going to create a brand new scene. And now we're going to add our model. The newest model that you added will be on top. So there's our assembly line GLB file that's 24 meg in size. Remember we started out with a 170 uh, or 179 meg file. So that's quite the reduction. And now we're loading our model into the scene and this should not take very long at all. And I'm also going to add some light so now we can see it better. And here we go, we've loaded our still quite high detail model into our scene. Um, and obviously we can add additional lights, um, we can change the environment setting to, I'm going to set it to chromatic because that's what I like and now we've got better visibility still. And this entire process took us probably less than 10 minutes. So to summarize, we used CAD Assistant to convert from the original file format into GLB and then we were able to reduce a file size that was almost 180 meg to 24 meg by using Rapid Compact Cloud. So now we've got our loaded and ready to go model and we can go ahead and build our resulting digital twin. Thank you for watching the first video in the video series that will focus on both conversion and compression of large 3D models so you can use them with AWS IoT TwinMaker to build your digital twins. See you next time.